Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing some quizzes on Quotive again, like we did forever ago. I think we did like Halloween ones last time. I don't know what kind of quizzes I want to do today, I just thought it would be really fun to do some. So, um, let's try some quizzes, shall we? Okay, here's one. What kind of flower are you? This is really random. <laughs> oh, this is like really in depth as well. Describe yourself. <clears throat> Describe yourself. Basically, your personality traits. I don't know if I can click more than one. Um, let's say passionate's a good one. Okay, I can click more than one. Sweet. Hopeful, loyal. I'm not super flirty. I'm not really pure. Maybe kind. I could say I'm kind. Romantic. I don't know if I'm like, that's not really my personality trait. <laughs> Protective. Uh, caring, sure. Faithful. Uh, confident. I could say that. Energetic, sure. Alright, next. <clears throat> Favorite color. Apparently people hate this question. <laughs> um, let's go with purple. Favorite animal. Mm, let's see. Out of all of these, I like frog. So I guess we're going with frog. Pick two names from the following options. I kind of like this. You get to pick names. Okay, Albert. Hate that. Lily. Lily's okay. Daisy gives me Mario vibes. <laughs> Haru, Ren, Dahlia, Leah, Tulip, Rhoda, Lail. I don't like how that sounds on my tongue. <clears throat> Margaret and Rosalie. I'm going with Dahlia for sure. And probably Rosalie. Yeah. Pick a number. Um, okay, well, there's several of my favorite numbers on here. We're gonna go with four. I got a Dahlia, probably because I picked it as an answer. <laughs> it doesn't give a description either, which is really funny, but okay. <laughs> okay, this one says, what season are you accurate? So obviously it's accurate. We have to click it. Okay. Hi, thanks for taking my quiz. What is your favorite country? Um, well, first of all, they're grouped together, which is really funny. Like, I don't really have a favorite country. Definitely not where I live. <laughs> it's not US, let me say that. Um, so I guess we'll just click the UK, Norway, Russia, Canada, Iceland one. Okay, this one's easy. <clears throat> what is your MBTI? <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Uh, what is your MBTI? Which is basically like the personality trait thingy. I am an INFP, if you didn't know. So, now you know. Dink. Make sure the next question, do the next questions instinctively. Hot or cold? Cold. Sun or moon? Sun. Rabbit or fox? Fox. When were you born? I was born in October. Pick a time period. Regency? La Belle? I don't know how to say that last part. 1940s? Uh, the 80s. Ugh. I cannot tell you how much I wish <laughs> for fashion and music alone to be in the 80s as a teenager. Needed that. Um, pick a female and male name. Hazel and Reed. Soleil and Finn. Aurora and Kai. Blanche, Blanche and Orion. I'm gonna go with Aurora and Kai. Do you prefer past, present, or future. And then we have destiny as an extra option. I'm gonna say present, because I'm trying to work to be more in the present. 
What letter does your name begin with? R. Uh, choose an image. I really like this one. She's vibing. Lastly, choose a word. So we have truth, fate, destiny, and free will. Uh, free will's kind of a vibe. Okay, I'm Autumn. Uh, it says, if you also love Autumn, hold, you hold a vibrant personality, which means you are full of life, enthusiasm, and energy. Autumn is for those who could drive all morning admiring the changing colors of the leaves and the way the sun illuminates the autumn foliage. It tends to appeal to risk takers. Fair enough. It is a time of uncertainty when it comes to weather and for those who enjoy waking up to different temperatures every day. It is perfect. They are very go with the flow people and get excited to explore new things. So interestingly enough, I feel like this is accurate, but also I was born in October, so I'm kind of biased towards autumn anyways. I just really love the autumn season as a whole. So next quiz. Okay, so the, this one is, what type of witch are you? We have to do this one. Okay. What is your favorite hobby? We have baking, reading, art, astrology, and writing. Mm, I'm really bad at astrology, but I like it. Uh, kind of bad at cooking too, but I love it. Reading, I, I used to love so much. And then art and writing. If, if I were currently to go off of anything, I'd say writing right now is my biggest hobby. I Although I have like dabbled in all of these and I love all of these, writing is what I've been doing more of right now. So what is or was your favorite school subject? Um, <laughs> we have two for science. Biology and science are like biology is science, <laughs> but okay. Literature and English, too. Those are both the same. Um, so it's basically science, English, or history or math. I hated history. I was really bad at it. Um, it's between math and science, but I was really good at math, so we're going to click math. Choose a painting that speaks most to you. Oh, I like this as an option. Okay. Uh, the first one, the blues in it are just so pretty. Okay. What is your music taste? First of all, everything almost, except for maybe like some country music. <sighs> right now I've really been enjoying like goth style music. Like I've been creating playlists and stuff that are supposed to be like under club goth kind of vibe. So... We'll just click that for now. <laughs> Choose your witchy attire. Okay. Um, I like this one a lot. I do like this, but that looks like it would be too tight. I don't like restricting clothes. This is giving um, <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Like, uh, what's her name? <gasps> Dorothy. It's giving Dorothy. <laughs> this is cute too, though. I'm between these two. Hmm. If I were in a store, I would pick this one, though. What is your favorite book genre? So we have classic literature, philosophy, romance, fantasy, or horror. Um. Hmm. Right now, probably philosophy, but again, I pretty much enjoy all of these, so. What would your pet be as a witch? A fucking- these ducks with the little flowers are my life. Absolutely. Yes. Who are you working or communicating with? They actually have the one I, I do work with on here, so fairies, like, yes. Thank you. My witchy house. These are so pretty. 
Mm. Okay, this one is the hardest choice out of all of them because I think these are all cute. Um, I'm gonna go first gut. And my first gut is this one right here. The like, I don't know why, it's just like it's spooky. But like you know the girly on the inside knows what she's talking about so that one what is your zodiac sign element i am a water sign scorpio choose a crystal mm. this moonstone is really pretty in this picture i also like jade a lot Mm, and blue fluorite. I'm most drawn to blue fluorite though. The, it is a crystal I really love and enjoy, so yes. Finally, choose a spell of your liking. So we have magic love tea spell. I lift this cup to my lips. I drink it slow with my tiny or with tiny sips. Rose tea, caraway, and fennel cause the love to stay. Healing spell. Healing light shining bright. Let names flee in the or wait, let names flee in flight. With harm to none, including me, I rust this spell so mote it be. I like that one. It's pretty cute. Discover unseen spell. <clears throat> in in this tween hour, we call upon the sacred power. Three together stand alone, command the unseen to be shown. In innocence, we search the skies. Enchanted are our newfound eyes. That's alright. Memory spell. Moments lost. Make witches wander. Warlocks plot. Or demons plunder. If this is not a prank, help us to fill in the blanks. And then a spell to find lost objects. Keeper of what disappears, hear me now, open your ears. Find for me what I now seek by moon, sun, earth, air, fire, and sea. Out of all of these, I like the healing spell and the spell to find lost objects. Mostly the, the lost objects one. I think I've seen that one before or like something similar to it. And I would pick that one. But the healing spell is really simple and I just like simple spells that like get the job done. So... I'm going to click the healing spell. I am a cosmic witch. <laughs> Who would have thought? Little cosmic crow? Gasp. Um, cosmic witches are all about astronomy and they are largely focused on lunar energies of the moon cycle, spells that amplify or protect against celestial events. They are clued up on star signs and birth charts, but their practice is active, not passive. They seek to change energies by using their knowledge rather than speaking surface level astrology. If you feel drawn to the skies above and enjoy sciencey complexities of the workings of the universe, you could be a cosmic witch. Um, so for me, like, I feel like I'm just kind of a witch of everything, so this would fit nonetheless. Um, but I am really drawn to, like, the connection of the universe. Like, the universe is very important to me, and, like, especially the sky, like, at nighttime, the stars are something I really enjoy. I'd like to be more involved in astrology, but it's not something I've, like, taken time out of my days to go in depth with. And, you know, maybe I should at some point, because I might enjoy it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I I do I do think some of these things like align with my path, but you know, labels are labels at the end of the day. They're nice to like use to to connect us and help us be drawn together, but you know, they don't have to restrict us, so um I like that quiz. It was very cute and very fun. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope it was really fun and I hope you had a spontaneous time because I certainly did. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Watch the nails. Don't stab your eye holes.
Let's go ahead and fill that in nice and gently now. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Look at that line. Then we have the NYX Deep Dip Shape and Go. Oh, oh. And let's run roll that sucker.